Hello everyone, Realmus Games here. This will be a small update. Mostly I want to introduce a different map generator. This one can generate a sort of alien port city as you can see here, and other interesting features which I will show briefly. Another interesting feature is that, or rather a bug that I have fixed, is that the lighting is now much darker in cave areas and enclosed areas such as here. It's still not perfectly dark though. If I drill a hole there is still some... Ah yes, this is also by the way a sort of bug but perhaps a useful bug. I don't know if we can see it here but if we zoom in closely it starts to look like some sort of glyphs, some sort of writing, hmm. perhaps in some other places it's more visible. But um, what I want to show is that as you can see there's still some lighting or rather some light appearing in areas where there shouldn't be. And I'm not really sure that I want to fix that because if I made it perfectly dark then I'd help have to introduce some sort of flash lamp or other light source and again I don't really want to make a cave simulator so perhaps this is good enough another fix I have made is um, the shells no longer miss when they make a direct contact, contact. Now let's explore the city and the other areas of this map. By the way, I have to apologize to you guys for putting you through my terrible oration. I know I'm not a very good speaker, but I'm trying to improve. Actually, I think that will be a challenge for me. I want to try and make one video per day and also try to improve my speaking quality. I want to try and stop saying things like mm and ah and all these different kinds of pauses. And also the microphone quality hasn't been so good up until now. So on the one hand I am trying to get a better microphone but that will still take some time. On the other hand well, a microphone's only as good as its user. And um, yeah, so that's where the part about being a better orator comes in. But there's also the element of using the microphone better. This involves things such as the space between your mouth and the microphone. Um, generally, it needs to be closer. Uh, by the way, I said, um, so feel free to make fun of me every time I make an unnecessary word like that. I really need to learn. And well, so yeah, the microphone needs to be closer to your mouth, but not too close. Otherwise it starts to make, uh, well, you can start to hear the breathing and there's some sort of like popping sound when you breathe hard into the microphone. Oh yeah, this is a bug. Okay, seems it recovered now. Well, one thing I found that helps is to put some sort of cloth over the microphone. And um, another thing I'd like to introduce is, or rather not introduce, but it's something that I'm thinking about, is to introduce some sort of flight mode. And I think this will mostly be used for scouting and not for combat, because otherwise it would take away from the hover tanks element of the game. So I'm thinking, let's say a hover tank is something like this, something, you know, some sort of tanky-ish type of shape. I'm not sure that's really tanky. Hmm. Well. Regardless, what I'm thinking is um, when it transforms into flight mode, 
Oh, by the way, I'm thinking it'd be cool to have some sort of transformer mode. Regardless, yeah, let's say this would be a tank, right? Such a shape right here. And then when it transforms, the size of it would increase. So it would be easier to hit from the you know, from the ground. And also the flight mode itself should not be able to destroy the terrain. That should be reserved for ground vehicles. Unfortunately all the ground here makes these sort of glyph marks. Oh yeah, you can see the glyphs show quite prominently here. This is one of those bug features, feature bugs. But uh, I think it's too bright to really be useful and to tone it down. Regardless, I'm thinking that, uh, well, flight should mostly be for scouting, so you should never be overwhelmed by uh, flyers, even if they come at you in teams. So one thing you could do is just burrow underground, and since air vehicles can't destroy the terrain, you'll be safe. And furthermore, again, you may have things like Vulcan cannons, which can easily take on flyers. But on the other hand, if the flyer goes up very high, then perhaps it would be difficult to hit, especially if the flyer is fast. So, But at the same time, perhaps the flyer wouldn't be able to hit a ground vehicle. However, you may have things like high altitude dogfights. Well, anyway, that's the idea on flight, or perhaps the idea on transformation. I was also toying with the idea of having bombers, and, but um, that would compete with artillery, so I don't think I should put that in. Well, who knows, perhaps if I get a better idea regarding that in the future, yes, then I might put it in. So let's see what kind of terrain we have over here. It's kind of like um, Swiss cheese dunes. And what is this? Gelatine? No? Blood red? Mm, very strange. Or maybe it's rust. Yeah, let's, let's call it rust. Yeah, I think if I keep traveling this way, it's just going to get more and more white. Let's rather mess around with the parameters. Oh, I have to be careful. If I mess around too much, it may disappear and I'll never find the terrain again. Oh. Oh. Okay, that looks kind of cool. This is like dunes with a silky surface and some sort of yeah embroidery patterns. By the way I also managed to improve the performance a little bit. Well on the, on the one hand this map is uh, a little bit lighter, a little bit simpler, so it's a little bit faster just because of the map, but there's also a slight improvement in the um, rendering technologies which make it a bit faster. Let's see, oh yeah, it is starting to look better. Yeah, geometrical patterned smooth dunes, silky smooth dunes. Pretty fun. Yeah, I really just need to get rid of these white markings, they are too bright. Yeah, perhaps if I go this way, there's less of that. Well, yeah, so this generator mostly has um, these kinds of dunes, and sometimes there's the alien port city, as I have shown at the beginning of the video. Yeah, but otherwise, I haven't really seen. Oh, yeah, there's the alien city again. Ah, I think there's a different one. 
Yeah, otherwise I don't think there's so many interesting features. Oh, what's this? Okay, maybe if we go in here, will it be white? Yeah, the rooms everywhere. I'm trying to see if there's some sort of nice cave here. Nope, I think it's a dead end. Yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah, well, like I said, it will be a short update. There isn't really so many new features yet, just some maintenance some bug fixes, playing around with the new map. Yeah, but this area over here looks kind of nice. Perhaps a little bit too rough. I wonder if I can smoothen it out a little bit. Yeah, perhaps something like this would be better for hover tanks. Yeah, this would be good. You could hover around here. Perhaps if you're skilled, you can navigate these dunes. Although you'd have to know which way to turn, left or right. Well, it would require some memory to know which is a good route. But then again, you don't really need memory. You could just blast holes in your terrain. Well, if these runes didn't get into your way. If they didn't muddle up your vision. Anyway, I think that's all for this time. So please let me know what you guys think, and if you like this kind of content, then please subscribe. I plan on releasing these videos almost daily. So yeah. Anyway, let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you, and bye.